Heavenly Father, Lord. We thank you for giving us this great day. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to witness today. Father, we are blessed by you, the Most High. Father, help us to be your friend. Help us to be close to you more in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Sunday, October 13, 2024. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an heavenly language. Hallelujah song will never say so I'm out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is friend of God. Friend of God. I mean, first I may find the book of Genesis 14, verse 20. I read. And blessed be the most high God, which has delivered the enemies into the hand, and he gave him tithes of all. And blessed be the most high God, which had delivered their enemies into the hand, and he gave in tithes of all. I have a close friend who was the president of a country. One day I said to him, You have been president for almost seven years, and you have never given me anything since. He looked at me and said, You have never asked. I replied, Friend, don't ask if you are friends. I don't need to ask you. A friend give to his or her friend without him or her asking. When lovers are in courtship and there is no exchange of key between them, no matter how small that love may be, just be questionable because one of the major ways of demonstrating love is by giving. John 3 verse 16 Many people claim to be God friends, but from their reaction, when they come to giving to God, you will realize that they are not real friends of God. We will not wait until announcement is made for offering to be made to God before giving to Him. Real friends of God will constantly look for a way to give Him because of how much they love Him. I recall a time that I went to a minister at the church some years ago, and everyone in the congregation was looking so radiant. By looking at them, you could tell them that God has really blessed them. I was thinking about how blessed they are. When the minister on the altar said, it is every time, you could see the joy in auditorium as they all clapped and shouted. Then God told me, this is why I have blessed them so much. They give to me cheerfully. Those who are always happy to give to God and who don't need to be cajoled or asked before they do so, always enjoy abundant blessing. God sees as his genuine friend. So he also doesn't wait for them to ask before giving them. David was a man who always wanted to give to God. He said in 1 Chronicles 21 verse 24 that he would never give God anything that costs him nothing. As a result, God said that he had given him everything he ever wanted and that if he wanted more, he would have given him. 2 Samuel 12 verse 8 He never let him lack anything because he was his friend. Indeed, God never asked Abraham for a death in Genesis 14 verse 20 before Abraham gave it to him. Nowadays, even after God has said that we should bring tight into the house, Malachi 3 verse 10 to 12. Some Christians still argue about it, whether they should pay tithe or not. Such Christians are only pretending to be friends of God. They are not really Christian by faith. But then, are you a friend of God? Ask yourself this question. I want us to read the book of 2 Corinthians 9, verse 1 to 7, 
and a Bible in one year. Mark 4 verse 5. Our hymn in 11. I found a friend in Jesus. I found a friend in Jesus. Our reflection for today. Are you really a friend of God? Are you really a friend of God? And I pray heaven will locate you for good. Heaven will guide you. Heaven will be your friend in our ramification. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love Walk. Till I come your way tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share this program today. Make sure you share this program with your friends, family, everybody around you. Click on the like button. Share it. Make sure you do so. By doing so, you have become a friend of God. And God will bless you and he will surprise you mercifully in Jesus' name. Have a nice weekend and have a nice Sunday. Bye for now. God bless you. Happy Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.